With the low female bookings on Reggae Sun Fest 2016, D'Angelo speaks on the female empowerment in the dance hall. The Jamaican Bill Gates claims that he invented flossing in the dance hall. This, this and much more on The Wrap. Unruly. Them are gonna need wings for catch we up, Jamila. We up. Wings for catch we up, cause you know we up. You don't know the thing go, boy, boy. It's D Burns. And I'm Jamila, and this is The Rap. The Rap. You don't know. Welcome to another episode. Right now, we are gonna talk about popcorn. If you, wicked, if wicked, you never knew wicked. before, it's popcorn we are talking about. So, all them wanna know. Some people don't know things, you know. Everybody know popcorn slang. What's your favorite popcorn slang? My favorite popcorn, trainness. Yeah, yeah. Boy, boy. I feel like there are some older ones that I can't remember anymore. So you know the trainers. new one? You know trainers the new one? are the new one. You know the new one? What? The newest one? What? What? Popcorn that don't make no sense. What? Oh, you mean it make no sense? What? That don't make no sense. No, nah, it make all the sense. It make all the sense. Because... Popcorn can say anything and it turn into a slang. Buckle. Buckle. That don't me, make no sense, me, popcorn. Uncle. <laughs> uncle. But. I like that. What's happening right now with popcorn is the emoji app, Moji, has created a Pop, well, a list of popcorn emojis, 60 popcorn awesome. emojis for his birthday, and it costs 99 cents. That is cool. That is cool. Popcorn say you need wings to catch him up. No, we don't need no, emojis, emojis to, to catch, catch up popcorn. Him up right Big up yourself, popcorn. Dance He's on out. the rise. He's on the rise. And speaking of the rise, fun in the sun, up there, thing high. You go? No, I didn't go. But I heard have a lot about Fun in the Sun. Of course I've been to Fun in the Sun. Have you ever, oh, I, mean, that's I have, you're rude. Sure. Fun in the Sun are big people something. I've been there. It was sure. Good. So, the rap was there, and this is what we have to show you. It was a carnival-like atmosphere at the National Heroes Park in downtown Kingston on July 16. The crowd, massive. Thousands of Christian and non-Christian revelers gathered to enjoy a day of fun in the sun. The Best Dressed Fun in the Sun, the premier Christian festival in the Caribbean, is staged annually by Glory Music Productions and sponsored by Chicken Giants Jamaica Broilers. And each year the event gets bigger and better. We saw it coming from 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 to 100,000. Praise God that there's a company like Jamaica Broilers are best dressed that is willing to invest and do a gospel event this magnitude and free to the public. So I look on it as evangelism. The concert is not only geared towards entertaining the Christian community, but also to win over the next generation for Jesus Christ. Among this year's performers were international superstar Donnie McClurkin, Papa San, Kevin Downswell and DJ Nicholas. No one in the audience could keep themselves from dancing when DJ Nicholas hit the stage. Along with the raised spirits, so was the dust in the venue. The energy was good as always. You know, went on about 6 p.m. there about, but the crowd was full of energy. I heard that a lot of dust raised when I was on stage, got everybody jumping and waving. The night got even stronger with Kevin Downswell, who has recently released his new album titled All The Way, which has been receiving major success. When I look on the online sales, they are going so well, amazing. I'm looking forward to hear the album being in the top 10 in iTunes or Billboard very soon. His performance had a mixture of calm, spiritual soulfulness, as well as powerful energy that had the young ones dancing the night away. Even media personnel got caught up in the spirit of the moment. Danny McClurkin, the sole international performer for the evening, had the congregation in a frenzy. Although the show was running late, the crowd insisted that McClurkin remain on stage until he performed his song, Stand. He yielded to temptation and performed the song as a grand finale, which was well appreciated by the massive audience. Giraffe caught up with McClurkin after his performance where he gave some insight on some charity work that he has been doing in Jamaica. God blessed us to be able to bring a $60 million worth of medical supplies and school supplies. And we're coming back in September. 
with about uh, about half of that, and to do it all over again, and to go from Kingston to uh, St. Anne's to St. James, and to really just feed those that are that are poor. We're going to be right here at uh, Riverton City and Spanish Town and Marvelly Park, and bring some footballs and computers for Marvelly Park and, and food for Riverton City School there, uh, Callaloo Amuse School, and and then we're going to go from there to the uh, infirmary in Ocho Rios. The show came to a close with Papa San, who delivered nothing short of his usual energetic and engaging performance. <laughs> He had the crowd moving all over the place for the entirety of his set. Fun in the Sun 2016 was filled with the spirit and the patrons are already looking forward to even more Fun in the Sun for 2017. So you know we're in the middle of the summer and of course Pepsi has begun to take it over with their Pepsi Refresh Tour. I'm here with Stacy Smith who is the marketing assistant for Pepsi Jamaica and she's going to tell me all about how they've decided to just mash up the place and take it over and refresh us. So Stacy, refresh us. Well, what with is Pepsi, the we decided to own the summer. Mm -hmm. We want to own it with the Pepsi Refresh Tour. So we're starting with five weeks of trade activation. So we're coming to all the major cities to take over with music, excitement, of course, Pepsi. We have upcoming artists, Leah Caribe, Eye Shades, Escobel. Now they're really good. And then to top it all off, we have Mr. Real Rich himself, Tanto Blacks. And you know when he comes out, it's just bare excitement. Um, with the trade activations, you go into the select stores and you can find it on our Facebook and other social media. So we go into the stores and we want to refresh you with Pepsi. So purchase a pack of Pepsi, which is six 20 ounce bottles, and you receive a ticket to the final Pepsi Refresh Tour concert. So, uh, so you, what you're saying to me is all I have to do is go buy a pack of Pepsi with the six bottles, of course, and I get a ticket and I can come And you to get a ticket. Wait, this ticket takes me to the pop-up locations? Or this, what does this ticket do for so me? So this ticket now is for the final concert, the big show. Yeah. So our big show is August 13th, and we are going to have an amazing lineup. We have Spice, we have Bugle, Sham, and Busy Signal. Mm -hmm. It's at 214 Spanish Town Road, and it's just going to be a lot of excitement and a lot of Pepsi. And if you, for any reason, didn't get a chance to get a ticket through the pop-up parties, you can always come and purchase a bucket of Pepsi and enter and enjoy the show. Okay, so I know you guys have actually started this tour already. So tell me, what was the vibe like? Where did you go and what can people expect, you know? Well, for the Pepsi Refresh Tour, we've already been to Spanish Town, Maypen, mm -hmm. Portmore, and we were actually in Otrius yesterday, and we are in Mobe today. Wow, so it's, it's fitting in right, right with all the sun festivities. Everything. We want a lot of activity for the summer. Next week, we'll actually be in Savlamar, and on August 5th, we'll be downtown. So, of course, you know, our people downtown, yeah. the vibe. We have our music bus, we have our artists, real rich, of course. It's going to be amazing, and that's the final pop-up tour to the big show. Okay, so is this final pop-up tour gonna be a little, you know, extra special before the big concert? I don't want to give away any surprises, <laughs> but come out and it's going to be a great time. All right, excellent. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to the big concert. I must, we're under surprise in downtown. That's what I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> so everybody, go out, buy a pack of Pepsi, get your tickets and go to the concert. Remind us of where we can get the details of this event So again. you can get our details on our Facebook page and our Instagram, Pepsi Jamaica. Excellent. Stacy. thank you so much. I'm looking forward, everybody. Pepsi is here to refresh your summer. So look Great. out. See you there. <laughs>- Bill Gates is well known in Jamaica for his fashion, style and flossing in the dance hall and he told the rap how he got the name. First, and I mean me and myself Bill Gates, it's like we're bridging the affairs in and in our hairdresser just a shop and some girl I watch a DVD and I watch my ponytail go on with a bugger thing. That's your champagne and I go on with the thing then. And they must say, no sir, 
Every minute him take out US and pour out time packet. I'm sorry. Him fi name Bill Gates. Bill Gates indicated that he invented flossing and the rich lifestyle in dance hall. Not for them thing where you're here in the street. Not for them slang and them talk here. Right now, me have the body slang and the body sting them. Me have a thing on me I say. I me alone have your port in my house. I drive, me drive, go to my kitchen and fly go to my bathroom. See? Long time me I say rich and I know. Remember, say me first, I say my personal vehicle is a bring. See? So you know money I'm copy. People, see me bring stuff. People are compare me with Flipper. But there is no comparison. Flipper, Flipper and Bill Gates are Bill Gates. I want Bill Gates here in Jamaica. Me and me own dad, right lyrics, sing me own song. Bill Gates will take. He's now embarking on a career as a recording artist despite the fight that he got when he initially started. He used to be a flasher in the dance hall. And the people love Bill Gates and everything. See? But I understand, sir. Well, some man I do, and I behave like, sir. And them alone can sing, and them alone can do it. Till one day, I go check one of my artists' bedroom for some dub plate, and the man said to me, sir. Bill Gates. You know, I can't buy some dub anymore. I said, all right, then, when you can do it? And he said, tomorrow, I go back tomorrow, I go link him again. And the man I, I tell me, and next year, I say, how oh, them artists are so hype? They might behave like them alone can do music. So I say, you know, say, he's a well talented dude. So I decide to say, all right, I'm going to do some music. I need a work. Bill Gates plans to take over with his new song, Skiama Wine, which he claims has been reaping much success. He also spoke of the inspiration for his new song. It's like they are still a freestyle pun already. And they don't know Skiama. And it is a big topic in the world right now. It's like me a freestyle and it's like at the rhythm I tell more of it. And the Skiama just come up in my head and me just sing it and it work. And for those who are spelling his name incorrectly, he had this to say. Me I saw people on the stop spell my name wrong. My name is spelled B Y L L G A T E Z S. I want Bill Gates, I know money on the carpet. See? Some man in a dance, I can select a money pull up. As a matter of fact, they're wrong. Who will I pull up here? I want Bill Gates here, Jamie. Yeah. Rich! Who will I pull up here, they're wrong? Yeah. I want to. Why Bill Gates? Respect you not you. Thank you so much. We soon follow your people. Jamila, what are you buying with your own? Of the shoes. <laughs> or food. Welcome back to The Wrap, guys. So tonight is dance hall night at Reggae Sumfest. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't noticed, there are not a lot of females on the lineup. In, fa in fact, there are only two. And that speaks for the both nights, Reggae Night and dance all night. Can you imagine? Yeah. Just Spice and Aishana. I mean, they're great artists, but... That look away. I mean... We have so much more female. Especially since we're keeping Reggae Song Fest strictly Jamaican, I think we need to include our female artists. Want to the reggae... Want, want to the reggae female artists. Want female artists. We have Wolipa dance all female artists and reggae female artists. So... What's wow going on? Anyways, D'Angel, she came on the show and she expressed her feelings on the topic. Check it out. The angel has been in the music industry for over a decade and has managed to stay relevant through her music and continuous reinvention of her style and love from her supporters. Once Jamaican people love you, then my staff love you. You understand? And that's what, ha that's what I'm lucky and blessed with because I'm a natural. She indicates it has been much determination to have been able to surpass the obstacles of the music fraternity. The industry suppress you. The industry make you feel like you don't worth anything. The, the industry sometimes make you feel like you're not a talent. Because you see, if you focus on that, you're mad, you give up. You understand what I said? And uh, so the industry make you feel workless, make you feel like they're not nah, use you or whatever. But you have to tell yourself that here we go now. It's not about the industry, it's about you and your talent and your God gift talent that God has given to you and the impact that your music has on people. Stronger, break free. You understand what I said? First lady. I mean, I can go on and on. The angel denotes, despite some persons not showing support to her music, I constantly promote my music. I'm share it with everybody. But at the end of the day, it's who I go willing to say, I'm going to play the angel. I'm forced to click the button and say, alright then, I'm going to play the angel, a new angel, I'm mean, going to play a new angel. I communicate to everybody and yes, people give me strength and yes, people ignore, ignore me. But at the end of the day, the world awaits me angel. My fans love me, they love what I do and I love what I do. Me, now get left a bus stop. Now meet in a damn trap, they must say, 
a journey and it, you have to put God in the forefront of everything you do or else it's not going to work out. Because them beat me down, them beat me down with punch right back. She's a hard girl today. So then about beat the angel again. They must love me. You understand? Because they must say I'm on my journey and on, I'm on my path and I'm going to accomplish. I'm going to make it. And I'm going to perform for millions of people. Me work me work hard. All too stressed and straight, things are nibble my brain for drive me insane. Me work hard, all when the eat and I fight, me still want a piece or a slice. Cause me work hard, all when me tired want sleep, me still a fear look it in the streets. Cause me work hard. As a part of her mission, she believes strongly in employing women and is giving this advice to the struggling entrepreneurs. Pick up yourself and go on somewhere else if your country not rate you, not accept you, industry so press you, go and mad you. Pick up yourself or your music, go on somewhere else and continue to do your thing. Because something went first. Don't stop. If you dig one time, I know where continue to dig in. I said the thing set. I can testimony for that. And me never start working. Just start working. My mama tell you that. I'm just a downtown girl living a uptown life. After a three-year break, one of the hottest events for the summer is back. <laughs> Giraffe was at the launch of the event on Tuesday which took place at Starstruck Entertainment on Courtney Walsh Drive. The event was filled with artists, media personalities and other industry faces. The evening saw performances from young artist Mortimer and an energetic new face Sativa who had a message for some despicable characters. Bobby Tenor, who was also present, told us what people can expect from him. All the hits, you know, full hundred. Where is the love? What's wrong with the world, mama? Are people living like they ain't got no mamas? Ah, ja, please go before me, yeah. Hey, go before me, yeah. The night ended with a fireful performance by the man of the evening, King Shango himself, Capleton. After his performance, Capleton had a few things to say about the contributions of the show to St. Mary and other communities. We're talking about education, you know, we're talking about health, health you know what I mean? We, we, we're talking about youth clubs, you know, we're talking about people with disability, you know what I mean? You know, we're talking about so many things that is positive and uplifting, you know what I mean? Of course, the night would not be complete without the soundtrack of the show. And of course, I had to burn a piece of the fire. There is a new party spot in Oteria's called Club Gen X and already the owners are boasting it to be the number one party spot in town. No way no better than it now, Oche. Just show up and you will show our God. The rap was invited to their weekly Friday night theme party entitled Elegant Fridays, which will have artists performing live every other week. Last Friday, the Kulu Kulu singer Savage was the guest performer. Man, the club Gen X, it's shot. Just shell along the place a while ago, my new tune. Clean skin, you don't know. My bleaching, my clean skin, my cream skin, make me get enough gun, me not the bag of preaching, dog. Club Gen X is located at the Burger King Plaza on Main Street, Otorius. And for those who love the nightlife, the club will be open seven days per week. Uh, from 3 to 11, and the weekend we open like uh, from 3 to 2 or 4 in the morning. We party all night. So out of several contestants, the Jamaican all-female band Adazia has been selected to perform at a reggae festival in Poland. Right now, they're on the verge of raising funds for this festival and the rap caught up with them. Dub the King's Daughters, Adaze and the all-female reggae band have impacted the lives of many Jamaicans with great talent, beauty and versatility, performing extensively across the island. The five-piece band comprises of lead singer Kadian, drummer Tashano, bassist Chevenise, keyboardist Carissa and a guitarist Tara Bean. Adaze is on a mission to success already creating buzz as they have been booked for top shows such as St. Mary We Come From and Reggae Sumfest for which they will be the opening act for Reggae Night 
and you are in for a treat. After each show, people come to us and tell us they love us, how you can dance, how you can spit, how you can sing and play. Trust me, it's really, it's really overwhelming and people just love us. A dancer through their great performances and music have been selected to represent Jamaica in Poland at the World Reggae Contest, which was a surprise to band members who will be getting to go to Europe for the first time as a band. I never knew they signed up for it. And then surprisingly, they told us that we made it to the top 10 out of 81 bands. And then we worked hard, we got people to vote for us, and we made it to the top five. So now we are in the top five, and now we're aiming to win this competition. For Adazi, this is a dream come true, and they are really grateful. Well, for us, um, it is a really good feeling, and uh, we're just striving for the best as we can. You know, I was just really looking for the support from, from everyone to help us to, to make this happen. In order to represent Jamaica, they will be having a fundraiser event. You know, we never thought that we would have gotten um, that opportunity to go to Europe, and the fact that we were even chosen in the top 10, and then the fact that we got the highest votes, the, when I'm, like we really and truly just we feel so blessed and um, we're just working hard all of the opportunities that have come are really motivational they're really helping us to push ourselves to really make it to the top because we have a mission and that mission is to leave all footprints right across the globe as the all-female band from Jamaica so for a great performance, the Adaze experience will be at M10 on July 25th. So, since we've been chosen, you know, with everything, you have to have funds to go. So we're putting on a concert at M10 on the 25th to raise some funds for the road trip to Poland. And we hope that to see everybody come out, M10 at Vineyard Town. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm a friend of mine, I know them. It's just your friend? Yeah, I'm a friend. No, I'm a friend. Of mine. I mean, Katie, the lead singer. Me and I used to see a youth pop society together. Yeah. All right, so hold on. You, yeah. man, you, never, you never entered the competition? Yeah, I didn't enter, but me, I mean, me to get through, but I mean, I couldn't raise the funds. So you got I mean. through? Yeah, but the funds are only for money that raised. Poland are not around the corner. And the Ochi, the Poland are Ochi. You see that, um, people? Support them. Support Make them the go to Poland. Make them I mean, Poland. <laughs> Make them go to Poland, yeah? We're soon forward. Welcome back guys. The recording artist Sadiki is not new to the dancehall and reggae scene. He was previously known in the 2000s for his hit single, Gal Dem Every Time. And guess what? He's back with a new album for you. Check it out. Born Henry Buckley Jr., Sadiki is a multi-talented singer, songwriter, producer and engineer with an extensive resume of three albums consisting of chart-topping reggae hits in the United States, Europe and Japan within both the lovers rock and dancehall genres. Sadiki indicates, although his father was a musical director, he was not interested in becoming an entertainer. My uh, father was uh, the um, director of music for the Jamaica Constabulary Force for a number of years. And, um, you know, like I say, you know, it just kind of, it's just a natural thing, see, because I wasn't a person who really even taught us much about music. I was trying to stay as far away from music as possible, but couldn't run from it at all, you know. Sadiki tells us that once he decided to take the music seriously, he was first signed to Scratchy Records and released one of his first hit singles, Gyal Dem Every Time. Them girls are driving me crazy with them, with them, with them up a wine. You know, like, you know, I know. I know one, I know two, I know three, I know four, we are run down my mind. You know, like, Sadiki opted to stay low-key and kept himself busy as a producer, music manager and songwriter. He has written songs for many local and international artists. But yeah man, everyone will go and sing the tune man. People are saying, yo, are you using that tune? Eh? So yeah, definitely, definitely was a, was a big song, but we we'll never do any, any visuals back in that time. Sadiki's new album, Covered in Love, features the remake of some classical songs and some original songs. Been very, very busy, as well as 
producing, I've been songwriting, I've written songs for people like George Nooks and Tom Hall again, Chesedek. You understand me? I said so. It, even though, even though I'm not out front, but still I do the works. You know me? I say on the, on the background. His rendition of "Sea of Love" by the Heptones is the first single of his new album. Sadiki has a big plans in the pipeline to reach out to his fans through his European tour. As I say, it's like a, it's like a full out covers album. Some you know some songs from like the uh, you know 70s, 80s, and leading right up to to 2016. Uh, you understand? So it's kind of like an album that will bridge generations and um, kind of bring you know the younger people together with the with the older people. So this year um, we're actually planning a European tour uh, along with uh, myself, along with another artist uh, who's uh, Ronnie Davis, who is a, uh, a, a another legend, another um, rock steady uh, legend, and so we're kind of putting that whole package together. <laughs> So Kamar, I know I've been kind of mean to you these past couple of weeks, but it's very nice to see you back, Kamar. I, I missed you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Kamar with the weekly roundup. What are going on, viewers and tubers? I am Kamar, and this is your weekly roundup of all the things happening in Jamaica and, of course, around the world. The illusion of democracy must be upheld, and Dr. Carl Blight, yeah, me no know him either. But as funny as it sounds, is again challenging old. I mean, 70-year-old Portia Simpson Lucretia Miller for presidency. So you're, you're a comic, right? Okay. It must be, but the joke's on him. Do I look like a loser? Hey, this was just as shocking as Al Miller's conviction. I mean, if Peter Bunting, Fenton Ferguson, and Lisa Anna get the picture, when Portia, like Bob Marley, say, You have a tired to see with fears. And if them want it more than how dry peas want water, and them a hold them corner, what hope is there for you? And if you think, say, she a go exit like Brexit, well... First of all, I'm not British. I am Jamaicans. We are all Jamaicans. And with this workout routine... Do I look like I... <laughs> you look like the Porsche I go lead for the next hundred years. Stupid is and stupid does stupid things. And this week, Melania Trump showed exactly what Trump University and its many tutors, copy and paste, will do for you. And Barack and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. The values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're gonna do. That your word is your bond. She bright twisty. I got teeth Michelle nice clean speech and I got talk to Ashi. I wrote it and uh, a little, with a little help. Girl, bye. Listen, Twitter had a field day. Not only with memes like who wore it best, but with the trending millennial Trump famous quote and the late night shows were no exception. To those who say I stole my speech, I say give me a break. <laughs> give me a break. And what does good body Michelle have to say about all of this? Me. I'm not happy with you, so don't copy me. Anyhow, when did the fight against racism and inequality became literally a cockfight? <laughs> and with comments under this video like Black and proud, no backing down at all, really have me concerned that's my two cents and if you like my face and you want to see more please by all means follow me on instagram jamelia and the d burns it's back to you guys guess what show sure, done sure the show is over you don't know the thing but i'm d burns as usual jamila as usual keep it fireful just natural and i don't know the thing but truly touch love one club diamonds people join the club the shirt them but and of course, I have to pick up iconic images because I'm looking super great. You catch the shoes? You catch the shoes? Gold for my shoes, you know? Wicked, 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 wicked. Remember, follow us. You don't know the thing. Go. Follow us, follow us, follow me, follow Jamila. Derap CVM TV. Derap CVM TV, D Burns Music, Jamila Jessica. Underscore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Love you. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. And if you like it, just subscribe to the page, you know, and remember to like and share. And leave